I want to share with you my favorite application of proportional reasoning, which is actually used every single day by real people, and now you can use it too. Suppose you want to find the height of something that's really, really tall, so tall that you can't actually take a tape measure or a measuring stick or yardstick and measure it. What do you do? You use proportional reasoning. Check it out. Suppose that we want to find the height of this really, really tall building. Okay, we don't know how to do that, so what we do is we notice that the sun is sort of way up here and it's casting a shadow down here. Now that shadow is lying on the ground. Let's assume that we have a very level ground here. And so we can measure that, that's easy. And it turns out that if we measure that in this example, we see 30 feet. Okay, and now all we have to do is ask a friend of ours, who's not that tall, not as tall as the building, so here's my friend, and I say to her, hey, can I measure, you know, well, how tall are you? And I measure this, that's pretty easy, and that turns out to be six feet in this example. And then I measure her shadow, which turns out to be five feet. And so now I can use proportional reasoning because these two triangles are similar. And so therefore, uh, the ratio of corresponding sides are going to generate a proportion when I set them equal to each other. So what do I have? This height, I don't know. I'm going to call it h feet. And so I know that this is to this corresponding thing. So h is to 6. See how I'm setting up the ratio? h is to 6 as this shadow is to that shadow length. So 30 is to 5. And so now I can solve this. So let's solve it. So I use the cross product, and I see 5h equals 180. And I divide both sides by 5. And I see that h equals 36 feet. And so I see that this little building turns out to have a height of 36 feet. This is a really valuable application of the power of proportional reasoning and looking at ratios. Congratulations, and I'll see you soon.